As I mentioned earlier, Mr. President, I, mean, I come down the floor every week to talk about my great state, but to talk about the people of my great state, the people who make it a better place for all of us. And we call these people the Alaskan of the week. It's one of the most fulfilling parts of my job. Come down here and talk about people who make a difference. People who don't get a lot of press, people who don't get a lot of attention, but people who are doing the right thing for their country, for their community. Now right now in Alaska, we have tourists, people coming from all over, and one of the things that's happening in Alaska is that it's salmon season. The biggest runs in the world, the bounty of our great state is happening right now when the fish are running. And if you or anyone listening has ever had the opportunity to catch or eat wild Alaska salmon, of course, it's a memory of a lifetime. There's nothing better, no better fish in the world. There's great salmon, fi there's great salmon fishing all across Alaska, but one of the most heavily fished areas really in Alaska and the world is on Alaska's Kenai Peninsula. About 45 minutes from Anchorage, millions of salmon run up the rivers of the Kenai, drawing tens of thousands of Alaskan sports and personal use and commercial fishermen, as well as visitors from all over the country, all over the world, to fish the amazing Kenai River. Now the area can continue to sport a lot of traffic, but when you have that many people on the Kenai, sometimes it does cause congestion. So Mr. President, let me talk about someone who works on these issues for Alaska. Kathy Heindel. Kathy is an engineer with Homer Electric Association on the Kenai. 10 years ago, she visited Alaska as a tourist. She saw the northern lights dancing in the winter, the snow-covered mountains, and she knew she was home. She loves the Kenai. There's a sense of freedom there and all across Alaska. It's a place where there's room to pave your own path, but support others in the community around you. And of course, there's the salmon. Since Kathy moved to Alaska, she's been working to give back to the community that she loves so much. She's an active member and past president of her local Rotary Club. She's a member of the Kenai Borough Community Emergency Response Team. She's also a member of a group that operates ham radios in order to help if there's a disaster and shuts down cell service or other communication devices. During the summer, right now, she spends much of her free time on the Kenai Peninsula Stream Watch volunteer with the Kenai Watershed Forum, helping to make sure that she will have a sustainable fishery, that we will have a sustainable fishery in the Kenai and throughout the state for generations to come. A few times a week, as many as six hours at a time, she roams the fishing spots picking up trash, helping others, speaking with anglers. She talks to them about how to protect themselves. She carries around safety goggles. You never want a hook in the eye. She talks about what happens when you run into a bear, which happens a lot in our great state and the best way to avoid them. And importantly, she educates anglers on how to protect the vegetated banks on this great river to maintain the health of the river and the amazing salmon in it. The vast majority of the people in Alaska and from out of the state who fish the Kenai are responsible and want to help in any way they can. And they love Kathy's help. But still, all activity in the area has created erosion problems, which has the potential to hurt the fish. The Kachemak Heritage Land Trust, a land stewardship and conservation trust based in Homer, recently recognized Kathy's efforts and presented her with the Kingmaker Award. It is your selfless actions that help protect the vital habitat needed for salmon to live and thrive, the Land Trust wrote to her. Great role models such as yourself can inspire others in our communities to take action and follow your lead and your example. Mr. President, I want to congratulate Kathy for all the work she's doing, especially in this busy summer in Alaska, and for being our Alaskan of the week. I yield the floor.